everyone, it's Amanda from Crystal Coast Originals. Thank you for joining me today. For the video today, we're going to be doing kind of a beach inspired uh, painting. That's going to be a swipe and spin and it's going to be using the Shelly style formula. But before we get into that, I want to talk about layering. I had a question a couple videos ago about how I layer my paints. And um, in the last video, I kind of explained that when I do Dutch pours, I mainly layer from darkest to lightest. Um, and there's also another part to that too. Um, before I do the painting, I kind of think about what colors I want to be showcased more. Um, in the video where I did the shades of blue and the silver shade, I wanted the silver shade as well as the um, sparkly blue Arteza shade to kind of pop. So I did layer the colors from darkest to lightest, but before I laid down the silver and the sparkly blue, I put down some white. Um, basically what the white's going to do is it's going to kind of highlight those colors and make them pop a little bit more. So that's what I did for that one. but. I feel like before you do these paintings, just kind of think about, you know, what you want to showcase more. And if you want to really show a silver or a gold, maybe put a little bit of white underneath it. And then I wanted to show you guys, these are two paintings that I did. They have the exact same colors, but I layered them a little bit differently. And they're Bloom and Spin paintings. I've already sold one that was very similar, but I've got these. Um, this one right here in particular is for sale now in my Etsy shop. The way I layered this one was I, I used three colors. First of all, I used Payne's gray and then I used just kind of like a, a kind of a neutral gray. I think it's like just gray from Artist Loft or something like that, but it was a little bit lighter in gray than the Payne's gray. And then I just used this lime green color. Those are the only three colors I used. And with this particular one, I put the Payne's gray on the bottom and then I put the Artist Loft gray and then the lime green on top. And that's the way this one turned out. And you can kind of see like in the middle, you can see kind of more of the green here. Um, again, this particular one is for sale up in my Etsy shop. If you guys are interested, I will link it down below. But then I have this one where I layered it a little bit differently. This one, same three colors, but I put the Payne's gray on the bottom, then the lime green, and then the gray on top. And you can kind of see more of the gray here. So that's just kind of an example of how layering can change your paintings. I mean, they both still look pretty similar, but there is a little slight difference in those. So let me know which one you like the best. That's just an example of how layering can, you know, maybe slightly affect your paintings. Something else to think about when layering, um, especially when you're doing the Shelly style technique, anything that's like where you're using her formula, is deciding what your cell activator color is going to be and layering depending on what your cell activator color is. So if your cell activator is going to be black, it's probably best to layer darkest to lightest because the black is going to pop more off of the lighter color than it would a dark color. And if your cell activator is going to be white, it's probably best to maybe layer from lightest to darkest because that white is going to pop more off of the dark color. But again, these are just suggestions. You do not have to do them this way. You could do the complete opposite and still get a beautiful painting. So these are just suggestions that I've learned over the course of <laughs> the last three and a half, four years that I've been doing fluid art. Now back to the video we're going to be doing today. Unfortunately, I do not have the painting to show you guys. Um, that painting is already sold. It has already been shipped off to its new home, so I don't have it here with me. But I will definitely have a picture of it in the thumbnail. And also, if you check out my Instagram page, there's a couple pictures of it on my Instagram page as well. Um, I'm going to list the colors that I used in the description box. I'll also list the, um, the Shelly style formula that I used as well. So you guys can find all that information in the description box. It's a lot of information, so I don't want to like go over it on video. One more quick thing before you guys watch the video. When I was doing the swipe, um, I used a really big, let me grab it. And 
What I did was on the back of it, I put black and white cell activator. I just kind of like put a little bit of black, put a little bit of white, a little bit of black, a little bit of white, and then I flipped it over and used it to swipe. So that's what you guys are gonna see in the video is me using this ridiculously huge <laughs> spatula. I got these on Amazon, by the way. They came in like a pack of different ones. So I'll put the link down below. So if you guys wanna check that out. All right, you guys, on to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to check out my description box where I'll have all the information about paints, about the formulas, and where you can go to buy some of my paintings or some of my Redbubble merchandise as well. Thank you guys again for joining me and I will see you on the next one.